We are about to enter the room that Melvin PZ9 and Regina PZ4's parents live in. Wait, this is the most haunted hotel room in all of Las Vegas. Circus Circus. Room one, one two, two, three. One, two, three, four, thirteen. Let's just go. Okay, you go lead the way. No? Room service? Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Genera. Oh, they're not here. Someone's been here. The bed's messed up. Let's check the restroom. Okay. Oh, that's kind of your department. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't got it. No. Good job, Daniel. Could be a ghost in there. But yeah. it's... Oh, oh, oh my gosh, Chad, why would you do that? I saw someone in the mirror, but it was just Daniel. You can't do that. This room is legit haunted. I'm not making it up. There's an article right here. Uh, yeah, there's newspaper articles and stuff. However, it's all just an urban legend. You can't believe everything you hear and read on the internet, okay? No, we were here before. I saw it and felt it with my own body. I think we can use this to our advantage later. Yeah. Not your body. Don't even think about it. Oh, okay. Guys, I'm telling you, there's no such thing as ghosts. Why would Melvin and Regina's parents Stay in this room of all rooms. They might not be here right now, but they might be coming back. Well, we don't know. We haven't checked the bathroom yet. But here we go. No one's on the toilet. We're coming in. Oh my gosh. Don't you do it. I'm a married woman. What if they're not, you know, Decent. dressed? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Nothing. What the heck? I hear the water running, but it's not running. Do you guys hear that? Oh my gosh! Oh, sorry, that fell out of my pocket. That's a Spy Ninja decoy device. Might come in handy. Yeah, for scaring your friends. There's proof that there was a boy here. Ah, see it up. Mr. Janera definitely was in here. They didn't flush. We have to find the parents before Melvin and Regina do because those parents, they can bring back the PZ leader. He's the most evil guy we've ever known. December 31st, 2020, you guys saw the episode called The End where he was wearing these stilts and coming at us. Yeah. We just barely defeated him. We need to be here when their parents get back. However, Melvin and Regina are on their way here right now. Shoot, you're right. We got Wait a minute, what the heck? This is broken. Does this work at least? They're gonna be in here any second. I just thought of something. PZ9 Melvin is super superstitious. He was freaking out being on the 13th floor of this hotel. He was like going a little crazy, a little more than usual. <laughs> so maybe if we can try to spook them. So then they'll leave and then we get to meet their parents first and explain to them to not bring the PZ meter back. Yes, that's great. Then. They can meet their parents and have a happy reunion and all that stuff, yeah. right? I mean, we want them to meet their parents, right? Yeah. Yeah, just not bring the leader back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got some ideas for some awesome traps to set up and spook them. Oh, yeah. White sheet. They make these beds so well. Yeah. A Ooh. classic ghost. <laughs> Whoa! He's not funny! Jump scare tactic! Yeah! Oh, so you know most hotels, they have a Bible by the bed, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, I guess it is Circus Circus. Oh my gosh! Oh that... my gosh, Chad, that's freaky. We can use these to our advantage when they come into this room. Ooga booga! Scary, right? V, I'm sure you'll figure out something to do with this. Sure. Where's the key? I lost the key, okay? Daniel and Allie took it from me. I shouldn't have given you the key in the first okay, place. Okay, well, what about you? What did you do? Get mm -hmm. trapped in a closet? Go to the yeah. Go ahead. Hello? I'm unlocked. I'm unlocked. I'm unlocked. Well, Chad and V lock me in there. You know what? Maybe mom and dad are in there anyways. Let's just knock and maybe they'll open the door for us. Mom? Dad? Wait, wait, there's a knock. Somewhere. Here. Oh my gosh. Don't look through the people. Is it the Genera family? It's Melvin and Regina, PZ9. Oh shoot, well, don't, don't let them in. Hey, it's your kids. It's Regina and Melvin. Maybe they went out to get food downstairs or something. I think I hear someone in there. I think we gotta teach them a lesson. Let them in and We're not letting them. them in. No, I think we should. To show them that this room is actually haunted and they would never, ever, ever want to okay. come back here again. He, he's right. That's true, that's true. If they stay out in the hallway, they're gonna run into their parents and say, hey, let's bring back the PZ leader. Okay, yeah. Set up your pranks. Okay. okay. Oh, they're in there. 
Well, you go first. Okay. Hello? That? Maybe it's just the vent. Look at the vent. It's right beside the thing. Is there mom and dad behind this curtain? I don't know. Kick it. It's just a curtain. Just air. Obviously, this room has been lived in. Our parents were here. Why don't we scope out the room? Check the closets. See if we can find any clues about our parentals. You go in the bathroom. I'll stay here. I'm pretty sure you have to poop, so. 30 minutes after I eat, I always poop. Mama, Papa. See? Ain't nobody in here. Mama, Daddy. In the toilet. <laughs> of course not. Shower, shower. I literally hate Oh! Regina! Melvin, what is your huh. deal though? Bros? What? There's something in the shower. Something touched me! And you know we're on the 13th floor. Everything here is haunted. Why don't you go check in the bathroom and I'll go search for our parents. No, you're coming with here. me and I'm gonna show you that there's nothing to be scared of. Let me check for you. Oh my gosh. Regina. Melvin? What is it? Be oh careful. Oh my gosh. Melvin. What is it? Oh, Regina? Is that what I touched? That's exactly what you touched. Look. Where was it? Where was it? There's no. No, no way. Because that thing touched me. I said. I think you're a little paranoid. Okay. Hello? Hello? What is going on? That was the ninja noise enhancer. It just. Static went by itself. What? I didn't do anything. That was the third time. We're mocking the ghosts right now by right? pretending to be ghosts. This isn't good. It's I'm just an electronic malfunction, maybe. I think we're doing a good job of scaring them. We're almost done. They're going to be scared and run out of here soon. I can't get rid of this. What? This is going to give me away. All the staticky noises randomly happening. Yeah, it's going to give away your location. Yeah, just hide it somewhere. Underneath the dresser. Okay, I'm going to hide in a different place now. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm going to hide. We'll hide in this closet. Come on, Melvin. Let's get out of here. You film it, because the last time I spent all my time filming, I let Chad and V lock me in the stairs. Okay, sure. At least I'm not the person who lost important information to Daniel and Allie. Melvin! Hey, hey, take the key, take the key! I'll go back to I'll take the camera! With V's communicator underneath that dresser, I can use my communicator to scare them. I can sound like a ghost, and it'll sound like it's coming from the dresser. Well, we don't need to look for our parents then. Do you hear that? Yeah. The heck is? It's the neighbors. Even the the room neighbors sound sort. It sounds like maybe it's coming from the TV. It's definitely getting increasingly creepier. Do you think it's our neighbors trying to scare us or something? Or probably summoning demons. Dude, they are totally freaking out. <gasps> okay. What is that? These walkie talkies making that static sound again all by itself. I think that's just static from the TV. Melvin, it's just the freaking TV turning this stuff off. It's been off. <laughs> I don't know. Why is it making noises then? Well, the curtains have definitely changed positions since we were last here. I remember you kicking that other side. Ain't nothing there but this. Really? It wasn't like that when we got in? It's not even on an automated track like a bougie hotel. Oh, okay. The noise is coming from the vent. That's why it's like, Ooh. Dang it. Melvin really wants to get out of here. But Regina's like, no. We need to stay away from my parents. Regina's being the brave one. Melvin, you're freaking me out. I'm just gonna keep looking for me? stuff. You're freaking me out. Dude, that I'm sound just won't stop happening. I'm not making that sound. What? What the heck? Why the is there a mask in here? PZ mask. Bartek Circle Hacker Mask. This definitely confirms it. The Genera parents definitely know how to bring the Bartek Circle leader back. That's the reason why they have the mask in the dress.
Maybe the they were somehow involved in Project Zorgo. Well, that's great. Why do the spy ninjas not want us to meet them that badly? Because they're annoying and clingy. They have nothing better to do. That is the easiest answer. That static stuff and growling stuff is straight up freaky. I know I'm tough, but legit. Doesn't it give your skin tangles? You just need to relax, okay? They're gonna come any moment and we can leave this stupid hotel. And he's going to be like, oh my gosh, a ghost did it. Oh my gosh, a ghost did it. We're on the 13th floor. One room, one, two, three. It's haunted, it's haunted. It's just gonna freak them out. Once they get out of the room, then we'll just wait for the Janera parents to actually come. Alright, let's set this thing. Okay, 30 seconds. Gives me enough time to hide. Melvin! There's knocking! I think that's mom and dad! It could be them. Okay. Okay, put on your best face. Okay. Answer. Anyone? Ma? Yeah? You hear that? Yeah. What's that noise? Oh, it's this thing, Regina. What in Tar's nation? I'm falling for it. Melvin's so freaked out right now. He's probably thinking it's a ghost. Was this here when we entered the room? No, and it definitely wasn't sad. Someone was making pranks. This timer is freaking me out. Come on, guys. Just leave the hotel. Let's go inside. I don't know. Just don't what stay. I don't know, Melvin. It's not plugged to anything. It's not gonna kaboom. We went back inside the hotel? What? I don't know what it means, but I don't really want to find out what happens when it gets to zero. It's getting close to zero. Let me see it. I don't know what's gonna happen when it gets to zero. I don't know. I'm kind of freaking it's out. It's a timer. It's probably gonna brzz it. Brzz it. I know, but we're in a haunted hotel. <laughs> Oh, that's scary. Oh my gosh. Put that away from me. Okay, well, you did it. Figured out what happened. Yeah, okay. Whoa, 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 Regina! <laughs> Something touched me! Something touched me! Oh my okay, God. this that's is it. Scary. This is it, Regina. What? What is it? Melvin, what is it? I'm freaking out. What was that that touched me? We are staying at the infamously haunted Circus Circus Hotel. In the 90s, there was a story of Klutzo the Clown. It was a doll who tormented all the residents and visitors and guests of the Circus Circus Hotel. Nobody would laugh at the doll, and so all the doll would do was laugh at everyone else. Anywhere you went, you would hear the horrible laugh of Klutzo. Is Klutzo after us? Maybe. Oh! We gotta prepare. We can't be in here. We're too vulnerable right now. I've never battled any kind of killer doll ghost thing. Well then, come on. Come with me. We need to gear up. Oh, we can't give up on our parents, though. We are coming back to that room, but we're just gonna be prepared. I don't know. Chad, Daniel, let me in. Chad. Come in. They left. Come on in. They are not leaving for good. I heard them in the hallway. Yeah, Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, come out. They're starting to come back and be more prepared, so I don't know what they're preparing for. Oh my gosh, I thought we would just have scared them away by now. Shoot. They're what more back. do we need to do to scare them? You they're coming back here, so we need to put the final scare down on them. I heard Melvin talking about Klutzo the Clown. There's a midway here at Circus Circus. We can go over there, we can win like a clown prize or something. We can plant it here and pretend it's Klutzo the Clown. It'll, it'll scare Melvin. Okay, we gotta hurry. They're okay. probably gonna come back soon. Freaking hurry okay, before the real goes. You gotta win something to scare Regina and EZ9. I only need one shot. You have to bust a balloon, V. What are you throwing? Oh, something really soft. You don't have to throw it too hard then. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah! yeah! You get it? Yeah! Oh my gosh! That was so awesome! Here you go! Yeah! Oh, Thank you! We got it! 
Oh, dude, yeah, that's, that's yeah. creepy. Back to the hotel room. Yeah. Okay, what's the plan with Klutzo the Clown? Okay, listen up, all right? Before you do anything with the clown, I got an idea. I'm gonna call that phone over there. Okay. And they're gonna come in here, they're gonna answer it, and I'm gonna make some spooky noises. And I got an idea with this clown here. Okay. So we do them at the same wait, time. Wait, wait, wait. Klutzo, we're prepared. Whoa, 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 you hear that? The ghost meter is sensing something in the area. Don't worry, the garlic's gonna help us. I read online, it wards off ghosts. Garlic is for ghosts? Vampires. No, it's ghosts. Put it at the TV, the ghost meter. See, ghosts. Do it! Point it now. Yo! No ghosts! You cleanse it! Okay, Melvin, start cleansing the room with garlic. All right. Call. Hello, yes, um, I'd like to make a call to room one, two, three. Okay, thank you. They're transferring me. Melvin. Yeah. We didn't cleanse the telephone. Melvin, answer it. Hello. <laughs> what? Hello? There's no one on the phone. I swear, when I was listening to it, I heard something. <laughs> it's creepy and weird. It's Klutzo. That's like, dude, that is definitely some kind of weird clown laugh. Uh, hello? Mom, Dad, anyone Klutzo? Dude, there's no one on the phone. Are you pranking me, bro? There's Regina! No there. Hang the phone up. We haven't slept in days because we've been searching for our parents. We're hearing things. We're seeing things. Let's just go to sleep. The camera is set up. Let's just go to sleep. Yes, and long range garlic whip initiated. Mm -hmm. Take that, ghosts. Or klutzo. Catch some of these garlics, ghosts. Oh my gosh, Melvin. I'm going to bed. All right. I'm sleeping with my garlic, though. Yeah. Shoes off. You can. I'm not gonna wait for you when we gotta get up in the middle of the night and dip set out of this bedroom. Good night. All right, turn off the light. I think they're asleep, come on. Okay, everybody here in the bathroom now? Yeah. yeah. All right, what's the plan, V? I'm gonna use this cluzzle, the clown here. I'm gonna move it around the room like it's the ghost is doing it. It'll be so scary. Installed in all the hotel rooms. What time is it? You get out of here quick. Come on. Did you know your parents can come any minute now? Yeah. Just please leave. I've been sleeping for like an hour. Oh my gosh. Why don't we review the camera? Gina, there's got to be something in here. They're reviewing the footage. This is gonna work. It's gonna freak them out so bad. What the heck? Pause it. What is that? Oh! Oh, why are you zoom in like that? Oh Heck no! Heck no! Get me out of 13. It says danger. You shouldn't have been here. Why did we even come here? Let's go. Yes! <laughs> you thought it was close to the car. Yeah. Oh, they know? just ran out. I think it's safe to say they're not gonna be back here anytime no, soon. No, they are not coming back. <laughs> now we just gotta wait for the Genera parents to arrive. Might as well just rest until they show up. Okay, I'm gonna try and sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna try to sleep too. All right guys, I'm gonna put the camera down over here and whoever wakes up first from uh, the Genera parents coming back, just come up and grab the camera. We don't wanna miss it, all right?
Okay. And wake us all up. All right, sounds good. Okay. Good night, y'all. Y'all. Night, y'all. We're gonna leave the lights on for sleeping. We can turn this one off. Okay. All right, good night. I love you guys. Love you, love too. you too. What is it, Daniel? What is it? Oh. What? Ah. What? Ah. Daniel. Can I sit with you guys? I All heard right. something from like over there. There's nothing happening here. There's no ghosts. They don't exist. Just relax. Think of sheep jumping over clouds and counting sheep and make you just fall right to sleep. What is it? What is it? Daniel? What? What Daniel? Was that you? Someone grabbed my leg. It's you, isn't it? No, I, I promise. You felt something? Yeah. Chad. Can you check, please? Oh, God. Oh, no, Chad. Chad. Wait. I don't see anything. Wait, what was that? What? Oh! Oh, oh my gosh. How did I get there? Oh, what, what was that? Oh, the, 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 phone, the, phone, the phone's ringing. Maybe this is their parents. Oh, okay, yeah, hurry up. Hello, hello. Hello? Hello, hello. The phone's not even plugged in. It's unplugged. What? Wait, 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 wait. How, how, did, how, did, how did it ring? How did it ring? How did, how did I call it before? You, you talked to Melvin before. Shh. What's that static noise wait. coming from? That room is definitely haunted. See, I told you, I've been telling you the whole time. We cannot stay here tonight. We don't need to be the generic parents tonight. We'll find them tomorrow, okay? We are not staying in that room any longer. Okay, we're gonna stay somewhere else, but I have the perfect plan on how to find them tomorrow, okay? It doesn't involve ghosts, it doesn't involve a haunted place, but it involves daylight and being on the Las Vegas trip and having some fun, okay? Yeah, daylight. Yeah, daylight's okay. good. Daylight. Yeah, because yeah. I'm gonna become Mr. Las Vegas. Look for that tomorrow on my channel. Tomorrow.